not only for me, but for him and his memory, give him justice. Somebody knows something. Tonight, a distraught mother is begging someone to come forward with information about the person who shot and killed her 14 year old son. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler talked exclusively with her today about the loss and the search for his killer. I called him Christian. <laughs> his friends called him Chris. It's those friends, Tanya Robinson says, who are helping her cope with her son's murder. Many of them showed up to a vigil last night to remember those killed in the Parkland school shooting. Christian's name was added to that list. He always thought like he didn't, that nobody cared, but he was amazing and this shows it. The Pasco Sheriff's Office says they are looking for the person who was driving this Mazda protege on Valentine's Day down Ridgecrest Drive in Port Ritchie. They say the driver shot into the car just ahead of him with Christian in the back seat. A bullet hit the Chasco Middle School 8th grader in the head. He died Saturday. Investigators say they don't know yet what led to the violence, but they also released this sketch of what the shooter may look like. Christian's mother says she doesn't know what happened either. But somebody does somewhere and they just need to not only for me, but for him and his memory, give him justice. Somebody knows something. Tanya says Christian was looking ahead to high school and picking electives. He loved music and his friends. I find myself this morning, for instance, walking past his bedroom, and I always look in in the morning before school, and he wasn't there. And it's just like he's at a sleepover or something. I don't, it hasn't hit me yet. Crime Stoppers of Tampa Bay is offering a reward of up to $3,000 for information leading to an arrest. Christian's memorial will be early next month. In Port Ritchie, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.